Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another webinar from A Place in the Sun as part of our month-long digital event. I'm very excited about today's webinar and delighted to be joined by House Hunter from an earlier TV series of A Place in the Sun, Ginny Lunn. Ginny, good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. Nice and to see course, Laura again. Yeah, After and of course, years. A Place in the Sun's very own Laura Hamilton. Good morning, hey. Laura. Four you years. Oh, four years. Don't know where it's where, gone, you. Where, where has that four years gone? Amazing. One of my favourite episodes with you, we filmed Ginny. Well, I was saying, it's, uh, I had a lot of laughter. Yeah, it's, I mean, it was it, Homer Away, wasn't it? Yeah, Homer Away. It was really good, actually, just doing this, preparing for this, because it made me really think about it. And actually, you know, my sister, she made a book of our ex whole experience. You know, one of those photo books. Oh, fab. It's brilliant. Do, yeah, you feature you know what in I, it. <laughs> what I think so lovely about, is, about this, and all of the presenters will, will, uh, will say this, that it's so often that we get asked by people, oh, we want to know what happened. Tell us what happened after, you know, they bought the house. Why can't there be a follow-up show? So it's amazing that we're getting to do this, because obviously we can hear from you firsthand. We can hear about you know, how you found the experience, um, of home or away rather than normal place in the sun obviously you chose away <laughs> yeah so it was quite um, easy <laughs> yeah, that, but absolutely. it isn't for everyone absolutely that, that was the incentive for doing these webinars so many people as you say Laura are interested in what happens um, after the cameras stop rolling and after the property purchase goes through so let's just let's just set the scene it's it, it's four years ago it's home and away Laura, you're up against Jasmine in this case. I was indeed up against Jasmine. And the home option, Ginny, was was Dorset. Dorset. Was the yeah, of Paul, I, I believe. Yeah, it was around. We started in Lyme Regis because I I used to have family holidays in Lyme Regis, and also I'd done that uh, January. I'd done some walks along the coast path, so I thought, oh, it's easy to get to from London. Nice, still got the sea and the. Um, you know, mountains for walking, all of that. But, um, well, as Laura knows, as soon as I landed in Spain, I changed my mind about Dorset. Wasn't, yeah, it was, it was, it was really good. And Jasmine was brilliant. She was brilliant. But um, yeah, I knew as soon as I hit Spain, it was going to be Spain. So it's either, it was either Dorset or yeah. the Costa Tropical. Should we just yeah. um, t tell us what alerted you to the, um, the joys of the Costa Tropical, which I know you're wanting to keep rather quiet, aren't you? You're, you're in the wrong place for doing that. You don't want too many other people going down there, do you? No, I love it. Because it's very Spanish. There's, yeah, there's some Brits, there's some, you know, there's lots of in other people there, but it's, it's a very calm, yeah, peaceful place. It's not busy at all, which is lovely. Um, but it but might I didn't be have... this, Ginny. It might be up. <laughs> I know, because it's so wonderful. Um, it's, uh, so this is so this is the Costa Tropical. So we're sort of we're, we're south of uh, well we're south of the Costa Blanca, south of the Costa Calida, and we're north of the of the Costa del Sol. And your place that you ended up buying is Marina Playa. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, yeah. It was well found, brilliant. It was exactly what I'd sort of said. I was a bit flexible in my brief, but um, that absolutely met what I was hoping for. I couldn't have hoped for anything better at all. It was amazing. And because I didn't know that area at all. I knew Spain from, my sister had a house um, and her husband for 10 years or more in Menorca. Um, right. And then I'd gone all over Spain. I've been to Granada before and different places on holiday, but never to that area. So it was, and actually that's what's been quite good because it's so new. Yeah, it's and really it's actually nice. not that far from Malaga either, is it? As you know, the airport, what are you looking about? 40 minute yeah. drive? Yeah, yeah, so you can do it an hour, if 40 minutes in a cab, an hour if I'm driving probably. But you know, I only went to Malaga for the first time this last Christmas. And it's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely, love the Malaga. lights, yeah. the Christmas lights are like yeah. some of the best in the world, aren't they? Yeah. 
Yeah, no, Malaga is a, a wonderful city. And obviously, loads of people never experience it because they just fly into it as yeah. an airport and then get out and, hit, you know, so it's it's great that you've you've been able to experience it. And, you know, being only 40 minutes away in a taxi, you can, I know. You can do that very easily. Exactly. I've got a local cabbie now who knows me well. He's always there to meet me. He does a special deal. Um, and he actually came and picked, I met a friend in Malaga and then he came and picked us up. So, you know, that's the other thing. Everything is so easy there that you've got. I was going to say, how have you found it? Obviously you're saying that it's, it is predominantly Spanish um, and uh, you like that fact, but how have you found it like integrating, meeting people? You know, bearing in mind there aren't as many British people there. Yeah, I mean, there are some who I've met, there's different communities, but I do the, um, I don't know if you ever came across any, but there's, there's um, the guy who I bought from, you know, he lives in the next block. And so he, when um, I bought, and you have to sit opposite the person in Spain, in the, you know, we went to the town hall in Neha, sit opposite him and he was there with his son and he gave me the keys and said, you know, you're, you're now owning, the house but you're also a friend and oh how lovely he's, he's been there and he's had people in you know stay in my place i've had friends stay in his place you know his family his kids they all speak a bit of english they're from granada but you know everyone there is so friendly so there's a the guy that looks after the community because it's a kind of community of houses he um looks after mine you know he goes and paints it when he feels like or does little touch-up jobs you know, all that I did work on the property and it was all local builders. And it was, I mean, just living in London, that would have taken ages and cost a fortune. Everything is cheaper. Um, it seems to be more efficient in my experience. Um, and there's a, the, the, in the next block, I've got a woman who does the massage on the beach. Oh, So I have lovely. a massage every time <laughs> I go. I went in July and it was just when everything was opening up and um, she was there doing the massage on the beach straight away. It's great. Um, Do you think, Ginny, that the the whole, I mean, I'm sorry, Andy, if I'm asking things that you have said to go to ask, whatever, oh, but do okay. you think you the, whole, the whole buying process was easier than you thought it, you know, because a lot of people question, well, how, what's the process like of buying a holiday home uh, abroad? Is it like the UK or how did you find that, that, that process, Ginny, compared to buying a home in the UK, for example? Oh, ease. Well, from the moment you had that call uh, with Cumbre Villas, because they, I have to say, were amazing, because they're um, based in Salabrania, aren't they? And, and mm. they literally took me to um, get the keys, took me to do your, getting your residence, uh, your whatever. You know, I hardly and I, know what I do. <laughs> what I do. Yeah, and I, they yeah. did it all for me. They set up yeah. a bank account, set up all the direct debits, told me where to go buy local things, and everything. It was just, literally, I got the keys and that's, I didn't really do anything. That was okay, it. Well, should, we, should we just rewind and set the scene with the brief? Tell us a little bit, Laura, about the process of filming then, when you meet the house well, hunter, what the, uh, what the, what, what the brief, when the brief session takes place. Right, so filming of Home or Away is obviously different to the normal um, A Place in the Sun. So filming of Home or Away obviously is uh, two presenters. As Ginny said, she had Jasmine in the UK and then myself on the away leg. And so um, it's three days of filming in the UK uh, with the, the British, um, British team and then three days with the, the team that are on the away destination. And uh, we as presenters will meet our house hunters, Ginny and uh, Ginny's sister, uh, the day before we start filming with them. But we obviously know what's gone on in the UK. Um, our producer and director briefs us and, uh, you know, just keeps, keeps us on board with the story and up to date. Um, and they are the ones that will actually, because they've spent the time with with Ginny and um, her sister in this case in the UK, they're the ones that have really found out what she wants. And then the presenters are told, right, these are the houses that we're thinking and showing. And we are allowed to give our opinions of actually, do we think that will work? Do we want to tweak it? Do we want to change it? Um, so 
we there's a team an amazing team of people behind us that are making this this process all come together and happen so we we meet our, our house hunters in this case obviously Ginny and then the process begins now with home rule way and we haven't filmed home rule way in the last last year um, we look at two houses on one day was it two houses on one day Ginny and then one the third yeah. house on on the second the second day and then it's down to the contributors to decide what they want to do and the majority of the time we do say well you know take the evening to think think things take over take your time Tell me take your time yeah, I didn't want to. yeah. <laughs> take your time take your time judy was like hell no i don't want any time <laughs> just get it make the wait. and and i think you know that's that's the thing that people have to realize about this process it is real life you know this if people want to want to buy a house they want to do it you can't say to somebody no you've got to work. you have to you have to go with with what they want otherwise actually if you make them wait and then they end up losing out or what you, you don't want to put yourself in that situation especially you know now that the housing market overseas it's crazy you know they i'm in the middle of filming the, the new series right now and people are are buying houses there are offers we, we wrapped i didn't film this week but we wrapped um i think four episodes yesterday and I'm not sure if i should be giving this away but they had four offers on the table wow. you know it's 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 amazing now the the amount of people that are they're coming on this series they they want to buy um, and you know, I think it's really exciting in a situation that we had with you, Ginny, where mm. you you came out and you were like, "No, I, I want to. I know exactly what I want to do. I want to buy. I, I don't want to wait. Let's let's do this now." Um, and I think that's that's brilliant. Okay, let's cast yeah. our minds back then and take a look at the brief at the top of the. Do cost a trip How's that for a view? It beats Paul any day. It already beats Paul. It yeah, sounds it like you don't does. need any convincing. <laughs> Have you made the decision already? <laughs> Paul is out. <laughs> Paul's out, yeah. but there was another property, wasn't there, yeah, in, yeah, in the, the UK? Yeah, yeah. The second and third were good. Yeah. It went up. Is your sister's opinion quite important to you? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. Kind of. I mean, <laughs> how, how, how did Sarah help you with the search in the UK? <laughs> We should, I think, no, you'll be the voice of reason, it's, probably. And it's good to have a, a sounding board. Yeah. So what have I got to find out here? Well, I'm hoping for still a sea view. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm hopeful for a bit more space here for gathering, a bit more outside terracey kind of thing. So balcony, decent outside space. How many bedrooms? Well, I have said three would be good. Mm -hmm. Two bathrooms, because as you get a bit older... <laughs> do you want to share your bathroom? I do. <laughs> You're hoping to use this place for yeah. loads of friends and family yeah. to visit? Friends Sorry, and family. All the nieces and nephews have already yeah, they said all, to her, they yeah. all want to said, get somewhere in Spain. Yeah. So you don't like sharing a bathroom then, is that right, Jenny? No, so I think when we looked around that property, it only had one, but um, it had this amazing, the main bedroom had this massive cupboard. I was saying all the, the Spanish seems to have big cupboards everywhere. So these amazing builders ripped out the cupboards and they made a second bathroom and they renovated the um, other one into more of a kind of shower wet room. So it's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, massive terrace that uh, looks straight out onto the sea. So it's perfect. Oh, it's got oh, my yellow yeah. kitchen. I love that yellow kitchen. Oh. We're going to see your yellow kitchen. Laura, do you get a sense at the top of the uh, the filming process sort of what motivates somebody and how serious they are and do you get a sense of oh i think we could we could really make this one work well do you know our, we we have this saying that you can never second guess what's going to happen because you just don't know you don't know how someone's going to feel and react when they go into a property and um i think that's that's the kind of magical thing about it and and people surprise you, you know, they'll they'll walk in and they'll they'll absolutely hate something or absolutely love it and you're like okay um but you, you just you, you go you go with it and we did have you know watching back that that clip now we did have so much fun i remember you know even though filming days they they can sort of be long and you know you're challenged with 
you're filming a show outside so there'll be background noise and guaranteed whenever we start filming there'll be a leaf blower or someone's cutting the grass or strimming or you know a tiler and we have to stand there and we have to wait for the so you you battle against that but at the same time you know you have a, have such fun and for me it, like each episode i do it's such an amazing experience that you're 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 part of this big thing in somebody's lives and as much as you know i'm chatting to to Ginny today and this is the first time i've kind of seen her um since since then we have communicated Ginny, haven't we yeah we have we've remained in touch yeah and also um I, yeah, I had some contact with Jasmine a bit ago. And also, actually, I don't know if you remember the researcher who took the brief in the first place, Jean-Pierre? He, he died, was my director last week. Oh, was Kepler, he? Yeah. He's, he's a director now, so yeah. JD, oh, say yeah. hello, because I was in touch oh, with I'm him good. last summer, actually. Um, so yeah, oh. they, they were a brilliant crew, but also I think, um, you know, if people are worried about doing it, you, Laura, and Jasmine, I mean, this is amazing. You see thousands and thousands of people, but you, they make you feel really special, you know, and, and it is about you. And, you know, that's quite a luxury to have two people concentrating on you and helping you find a property. You know, it's amazing. I found it, you know, it was, I think in Dorset, I was a bit of a wreck. Um, and poor old Jasmine had to cope with a few tears, <laughs> all of that. Whereas, I don't know what it was in well, in Spain. It was a lot of laughing, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. You probably you've been probably told to lift it up a bit, keep <laughs> get it up. You're always going to get that from Laura, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I can remember oh. it was so hot, wasn't it? On the top of that that clip was at the it, top of Salabrania Castle. It was boiling, wasn't it? It, it was, was. It was June, and I thought, God, if it's like this in June. It's yeah, it was, it, it was, it was um, very hot, but yeah, but, beautiful, beautiful part of Spain. Yeah. What a unique, what a unique role for you, Laura, to facilitate someone's dreams like this, as you say, sort of a life changing event of buying a property in Spain. I mean, it's just, uh, it's yeah, remarkable. It, it really is. It really is. Which is why I think, you know, when, when we, we wrap the show, whether it's home or away after, you know, we've spent three days with, with our contributors or if it's a full week's episode, you know, a full, up, full episode, which is a week. Um, I, I know Jazz is the same, I know Johnny's the same. We don't want to come to the end of the shoot and go, right, okay, bye then, see ya. We, we do, we do care. We do want to stay in touch. We do want to know what goes on, what happens, you know, send us photos. Um, and if we go back to that area, which obviously we do time after time, um, time, time again, I've stayed in somebody's house that I helped buy them buy on a place in the sun. I've actually no, rented it from them. So, so Ginny, I'll be giving you a shout out. I know, that's, that's my friend, isn't it, in Mahaka? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, Donna and Raina, yeah. So yeah, I, exactly. I, I, they're, I, um, they're there they've now. Rented. Are they? Yeah, they made it and they're staying there for ages, I think. Oh, good, good, yeah. yeah. So, you know, that was that was amazing, getting to, you know, to stay in their place. And again, the same if I'm in, in Mahaka, there's a few people that have, have bought properties on the show in Mahaka. Um, and I would always give them a shout and say, hey, look, you know, are you around for a, a drink? Um, they might not want to see me again <laughs> after. But you're always very welcome to stay at mine, and oh. also the beach, the beach bar there is a gem, it's a real gem. Uh, okay. Don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone. <laughs> They'll all be turning up, Ginny. Let's let's take a look at the property then that we have been talking about in clip two. Here we go. It's a well maintained complex with access to a communal pool and comes with a living dining room, separate kitchen, and three bedrooms and a family bathroom. It's a shade over budget, but Ginny says she would be happy to stretch. So here we are at our second property. It's three bedrooms. Yeah. Three. It's got great views, mm -hmm. close to the beach. I'll, I really like the kind of sense of peace. It's very quiet, mm -hmm. which, you know, it's very different Not to the... Not quiet. Well, you see, I'm very attracted by quiet. It's true. It happens <laughs> every time, you see. Indeed, it's uh, quite like yeah. Luxury Lodge. 
Exactly. That was We've so got to stop coming Sorry. back to this luxury lodge. <laughs> it's on the market for £156,000. Wow. So what is this luxury lodge reference? Oh, because with Jasmine, I, 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 as a kid, I'd stayed in, you know, those kind of lodges. So in Swanage, she sh I think they found one when I kept going on about luxury lodges. I think they found one in Swanage. So we went and looked at it. It was, that was quite a funny moment because it was, I mean, it was an amazing lodge, but yeah, it was, it was something like 200,000 or something. I, I think, God, compared to what I have in Spain, it's Did you have a, did you have a slightly different budget for the UK then? Uh, were you flexible on the budget in the... In, yeah, in, actually, when quick. I think back on it, I think, why on earth, how could I possibly have had a different budget? between two countries. I don't know how that happens. So people do, they do always have a, d a different, yeah. you know, a different budget. And I always think, oh, you know, it's nice to try and keep it the same if you can, but yeah, people want to, I think spend less, they want to spend less abroad, don't they? Yeah, probably. And it was, I mean, that was really good value in Spain. Yeah. Cause that's what I found in England. It was, you get much less for your, money and you were certainly the sea views in Dorset were like you know crane your neck out the window you could see a glimpse in the you know in the distance this is the sea as you can see is right there so I'm a big um, swimmer so you know every day I'm in that sea although I don't know if you had that experience Laura there was one summer where it was full of jellyfish yeah and I got I was I was in the beach bar. They used to have this special technique for getting the neat the stuff out and this amazing cream. I literally, my whole back was covered in... Oh, my word. Jellyfish. Yeah, I think I've still got a scar, actually, somewhere. Oh, God. No way. So, so we hope there's been none this year. So, I don't know. It's all to do with the current, the locals tell me. Did you so feel... When... Sorry. Sorry, Laurie, go ahead. I was going to say, so when, when have you been out there this year? So I went in July as everything opened up straight away, um, which was really nice because the Spanish were all just so delighted to be out because they were so locked down, weren't they? Mm. Um, I mean, they're very serious on scar um, masks, which yeah. I think is, is quite clear. You just wear masks when you move around. Mm -hmm. um, and then once you're sitting in a restaurant, all the... Um, waiters wear masks the whole time you've probably seen that yeah um but it's um it just felt so free it was amazing you know jumping yeah. in the sea sitting in a normal bar being outside all of that it was great and then i went back because stupidly i'd left everything all my furniture out everything uh, thinking oh yeah it's all open up now we're all back friends were supposed to be going the following week and then it all they introduced quarantine, so it stopped most people who were going to going because they can't do it for work. So I went back quickly to shut it up um, till you know, you know, till I can go again, which hopefully will be fairly soon. Yeah. Well, when we set up this webinar initially, we'd um, planned it for you to be. Um, obviously, you would have been in the property and could have given us a little I know. tour around the Costa Tropical, and you're now in the Costa del Staines. I know, exactly. It's slightly different. I know I've moved out of London. I'm house sitting in the countryside. It's quite nice. I put my house oh, in okay. London on the market. All right. So, yeah. So Spain will be my real route home. home. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So what was a holiday home is probably now going to be a permanent relocation? Well, it's the place that I feel at home. It's interesting, isn't it, where you feel most at home? And... I think it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely, I've decided it's time to sort of, I don't know if I'll buy in the UK again or not. I have to think. You can maybe help with that. Do you do any ones in the UK? <laughs> <laughs> well, That's home or away again. Oh, it is. Yeah, exactly. I need something home. Well, no, my home is Spain now, I think. Oh, well, that's brilliant. What a wonderful transition to have made. Let's just take a look at um, that stunning view and what happened at the end of the program. Oh. 
Our search for a holiday home for Ginny, making the most of her late partner Maggie's legacy, is now over. And we're delighted. Look at that, Ginny. Well, I know. And I, at that table and chairs, that's definitely not there now. Um, I've got um, low, you know, white sofas that go all around the terrace. You can sit and look at the sea. It's a kind of very relaxed um, kind of 24-7, some friends said. It's, it's sort of set up so you can just be out there the whole time. Oh, lovely. It, and it's not, it's, there is a small dining, there's a small round table in the corner, but mostly it's, you know, couches um, all around the whole area. And yours, is that south facing? Do you get the sun moving across all day? You get a sunrise, which is amazing. And then you get fabulous moons for some reason, um, but all different types, red, you know, because when I was there in July, it was the big full moon, the red moon. So, you know, the sky is just incredible. It's so relaxing. And, and yeah, I've had, although it, it was quiet there, but the amount of friends I've had out there, I have been told to shut up a few times by neighbors. <laughs> I think I've disturbed the peace actually, not, not brought more peace. Right. Okay, let's see the rest. Delighted to have found her her dream holiday home. As there's another interested party, we've offered the full asking price, and now it's an anxious wait to find out if that offer has been accepted. I just want to find out how you found the whole experience. <clears throat> Everything's happened so fast, from spending the time in Dorset to being here now and seeing just amazing properties. So you know, really, it's been a, just a whole experience that has been great. But it did feel when I met you here in Spain after viewing that that's oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Laura speaking. Yes. Yeah, okay. What I'll do is I'll pass that information on and then I'll give you a call back if that's okay. Okay, so we have an answer. <laughs> Your offer has been accepted. Oh my God. Amazing news. <laughs> Cheers to that. Congratulations. Cheers. Oh God, it feels like a new beginning. <laughs> I'm going to give you a hug. It's, <laughs> like, it's amazing. Oh. A, a truly life changing moment. Oh, we can't moment. do that anymore, can we? Well, I was going to well, ask, what has changed? It's all orange juice now, but you've got some healthy, <laughs> nice, nicely sized glasses of wine and a gin and tonic on the go there, I think. I know. I know. What's changed? I mean, Actually, no, we do still far. drink alcohol. I was in Greece drinking, um, they were getting me to try Raki oh. a couple of weeks ago. Right, how did that go? Oh, it's, have you ever tasted it? Mm. <laughs> it's like petrol. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, obviously we, we, we're now filming the show following the new covid kind of protocol guidelines so we're socially distanced um we can't spend any more than 15 minutes in houses well that obviously you would be able to look around it on your on your own with your partner whoever you're looking with um because you're in your you know your bubble or whatever together but i uh, the presenters are only allowed to spend a certain amount of time a limited amount of time in the properties with the house hunters we have to stand socially distanced when we're doing our opening chats our closing chats um we you know it's we're doing it it's amazing and one thing that i i'm extremely passionate about as well as property is supporting the travel industry you know i i feel that you know I know everyone does feel a little bit nervous to travel and I appreciate the quarantine issues might not work for everyone, but if and where you can support it, then you should. Otherwise there will be no travel industry left. I suppose with your place, Ginny, in Spain, you can drive there if you wanted to. Yeah. You could. And, yeah. And also actually, I was talking to some of them because they were saying because all the Spanish stayed at home, you know, August was okay because they had everyone from Granada, Madrid, everywhere down on that coast. Yeah. But they're quite worried about the winter because that's when it is the other people. It's the Brits, yeah. it's the Swedes, you know, Scandinavians, all of that. So yeah. they're quite worried about that. So I mean, you know, for I places like Greece, where I've, I've been filming, they've really had to capitalise on, on what they can over the last few months because they're seasonal. You know, in the winter months, that's it. All the hotels shut anyway. 
um so um I'm, I'm just glad that we've been able to help people find houses there over the summer and as i said i'm going back there there on sunday to to film another episode so yeah i think so we, we need to tomorrow. yeah flying out tomorrow right Nice. Yeah, I mean, some people, some people have had good lockdowns. Some have had bad, bad lockdowns. I just can't keep up with you, Laura. You've got, you've got fitness workouts. You've got Lord <laughs> Roberts on the green. You've got food deliveries. You've now got a filming schedule. I mean, I get tired following your Instagram account. <laughs> you've got to keep going, haven't you? Life's life's living. Through. Yeah, and that's what I loved about Ginny. When when I met her. She was like, I'm not hanging around. I'm buying this. We're doing this. We're going for it. And, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what life is about, I think, making the most of every minute, every opportunity. And I know that, yes, of course, it has been hard for so many. Of course, it, you know, it's been hard and I've had to make lots of changes. But you, you've just, you've got to be, I think you have to be positive with it because if you're not, then what else is there left? I know, and it will pass as this, you know, isn't it? We're going to have a different, you know, it's going to, we're going to come out of it at some point. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I think a place in the sun, it's done phenomenally well over this period because it is the exact type of television that people want to watch. The escapism, you know, it's achievable, isn't it, for people to, to, to do yeah. what you've, you've done. And um, it, you know, it's it's been amazing to. It's 21 years. It's been on for 21 years. Can you believe that? And that's what I was no, doing no. yesterday—a photo shoot to celebrate um, how long it's been on. And we, you know, we're going to be doing lots of press, um, a big press campaign. And I'm just so I'm just proud that I'm I'm part of the show and of a show that's doing incredibly well, continues to do well, and. Um, yeah, long, long may it continue. I know, because if you really do want to, and I think a lot of people in lockdown have thought about life and where they want to be, haven't they? And, you know, yeah. it's, it's um, if you can, and I think it makes, place in some makes it easy for you to actually make that change. So it certainly has to me. You know, I spent the last three New Year's in Spain and I've had yeah. more and more people come to did join. You, and they, did, were you doing the great, eating the grapes? Yeah, I love that. I, I thought you had to put 12 in at once. <laughs> so you like hamster. <laughs> so I, but it's, there was, there's a restaurant down there that didn't um, open. For, they didn't open anything for New Year's Eve. And now they have this great party with dancing and everything. And, you know, it's Aww. fantastic. Yeah. Well, hopefully they can do something, you know, this new, new Year's. Because as you say, we... we we don't know, but I'm with you. I've, I've spent some time in Spain in July and I saw how amazing restaurants were, were dealing with things and, you know, the masks that people are wearing out and about. And, you know, you feel good when you're there. Yeah, you, know, you do. Even you though do. you're aware it's all going on, you do. It feels different, doesn't it? It does. And it, I mean, blue sky, 20, you know, all year round, you can't really beat that, can you? No. Well, you're, I understand you're, you're, why you want to relocate now, then. <laughs> well, yeah, the decision to go on the show, then, Ginny, has had a huge impact. If four years down the line you're considered, well, having well, selling up us in the UK and possibly making it your base, are, are you aware of the um, sort of unique window that's open between now and the end of the year for getting residency in Spain? No, actually, I need to look. Is that must be on the web? Is it on the place in the sun? How well, to do that? We've, we've been running a series of webinars all month. Uh, two Saturdays ago, we had what we called a Spain property masterclass. And we went through all the different elements of uh, uh, getting a mortgage was one webinar and relocating was another webinar with a couple of residency specialists. Mm -hmm. And that recording is up on the, on the event website under the hub webinar area. So where you signed up, anybody out there to watch this one today, you can go on there and watch the recordings. But yeah, you really need to show um, a presence in Spain for three months to make the application. And, yeah, you need the address, moment, yeah. and you need an NIE and you have all those. So you could actually apply now, get Spanish residency and your rights acquired as an EU citizen would remain intact, including healthcare access and that sort yeah. of stuff. We don't know what it's going to look like after after January. It could be different. It could it could be the same, but 
the only thing we know for now is that um, yeah, there's an opportunity for you to do that now if if you chose to. But that would be mean spending more than half the year there, becoming tax resident there rather than tax resident in the UK. So it's quite a big. Yeah, I've still got a full time deal. job at the minute in London. Yeah, so that makes it that makes it <laughs> tricky then. But we're all yeah. considering how to work from home and whether we'll go back to office spaces and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's lot. It's great to have you know, choices and opportunities to do it differently. Yeah. And Lord Roberts on the green. Laura, how's that, um, how's yeah, that going at the moment? We, uh, well, again, it's a business that we've had to adapt and change as guidelines and announcements are made um, constantly. But um, yeah, so we, we obviously turned it back into a village shop in lockdown. And as you say, I was delivering my fruit and veg and helping those in need in the community. Um, but more than anything, it, it kept the business ticking over. And I think that's a lot of what this has been about, right? Mental health for people and they, the staff were still coming in to, to work and um, not, not just being sat at home and doing nothing. So we, you know, we did, we did do that and it was amazing. And now we've opened up the garden and the conservatory and we're operating again as a, a restaurant coffee shop um, and constantly thinking of ways we can grow and change the business so yeah that's that's where we're at with that well, I, you have I, got, I work yeah. a lot on the business remotely so wherever I am in the world um, I, I do all the rotors I do I order the food every day uh, through a mobile phone app the staff send me a photograph of what they need for the next day and I and I do all of that and I pay all the invoices and do the accounts and run the website and um, but we've got we've got 16 staff now that work for us so we did have 27 at one point but gradually over time it's sort of the numbers have reduced and it, it's it's good we've still got 16 staff and we've got we've got an amazing team there so um, yeah we couldn't do what we do without them and you do loads of different things. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I think that was something that I, I learned in this period of lockdown. Although I've worked in television now, unbelievably, for 20 years. I started in TV when I was 18. Um, I think having other things, you don't just, no one has just one job anymore, do they? You, yeah, exactly, you have yeah. multiple um, I mean, I'm very entrepreneurial anyway. I have been since, you know, buying and doing up houses or um, always coming up with like different ideas. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work and you move on to, on to the next. But um, yeah, I, I learned in, in lockdown that you can't, I, you can't just have one thing. You've got to have a few, few different things going on, mm. which is why yes. Andy, my life always seems insane on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> What I don't is, think you, does it really come across like that, Andy? <laughs> no, 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 no. It just um, <laughs> it looks uh, it looks active. Let's let's <laughs> let's say it looks rather active. So if if Ginny's story has inspired anyone today, then over on our, our event website, here's the webinar schedule. Um, here's the one we're on with at the moment. And this afternoon we have our Cyprus property masterclass, and then tomorrow we have our Florida property masterclass a series of webinars about buying and owning property in florida and then next week we have a program all about getting on the tv show so we'll be joined there by uh, lydia bradley and siobhan Gorman, who are producers at um, freeform productions who make the tv show and we'll be running through the qualifying criteria for being on the tv show and what's involved and um, what to do if you would like to take that journey and um, get yourself on Channel Four. Clearly, it's not anything that you um, that you regretted. I think, Ginny, you had your concerns were about being on TV. You clearly wanted to get a property and you wanted the help of the production team. But yeah, you about actually being on national TV. Well, exactly. I didn't really think about the TV, and actually, it made it felt just very natural, just chatting, and you didn't really kind of think about the cameras or anything. And then as I said I didn't think anyone watched it. I was very wrong on that score. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. We've been here for 21 years. You know, it's, it's, it's great actually you saying that because that's part of our job as presenters. I think that, you know, when, when we meet you and you come on, on the show, it's, it's so interesting when people meet you and they go, 
oh, you actually are like you are on the TV show. You're not any different. You're like, yeah. well, why would, you know, why would we be any different? We're not. But part of our job is making you forget about the TV show yeah. and just to talk to us. And, yeah. um, and you know, if, if you felt that, then that's great because, you know, we're, we're doing what we're employed to do. I know, and I was saying, and it really, um, for my sister and I, because I, I didn't tell her I had put her down as my kind of coming with me. And um, so it's a bit of a shock for her. So, but it's, we've really bonded through all this. So I'm oh. now, she lives just down the road from me here. And because um, oh. she was such good fun. And I hadn't seen that side of her really. She was just, she just jumped oh, into it and was, uh, she loved it. Yeah, I couldn't persuade her to come here today, but. Um, Complete life-changing experience then. Yeah, cool. absolutely. Of course you bonded. You own, you own a three-bedroom seaside apartment in Spain. Who's not going to bond? <laughs> All her kids have been, oh, except for one nephew who hasn't been, everybody else has been. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't know how many keys, you. I've got keys with so many people. They've all got keys, so they can just go when they like. Fantastic. Oh, well, what a, what a wonderful story. As I say, a shame we, um, we couldn't be there today, but um, that hasn't detracted from it. It's wonderful to look back at that old footage. You've still got the peach trousers then, Ginny? No, they've gone to the charity shop. How could I have worn, Laura, you could have told me. <laughs> Orange trousers are not really it. <gasps> oh, they, uh, well, I mean, you, so you, 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 you took them to the charity shop. How, how soon after you finished? Because you obviously wear this, well, wear the same clothes, don't you? For on, yes, on home away, it's two days. But for Place in the Sun, it's the same outfit for, for four days. By the end of it, you never want to see it again, ever. No, no. I have kept the top because it reminds me of that sitting oh. in the marina and then go doing it. Yeah, so um, I kept the top, the trousers gone. And you're in uh, yellow, Laura, a favourite colour of yours. I was, saw a bit of a sneak preview of your photo shoot yesterday. There was some yeah. uh, dramatic, uh, stylish yellow dress that you were wearing. Yeah, so we had two looks yesterday for our photo shoot. Well, actually three. Jazz and I did three uh, looks. Um, two sort of place in the sun daytime looks and then a, a, a glam look. Um, and it's for some new images for a big press campaign. And hopefully Sam will be shared on, on a place in the sun's website. And uh, yeah, who knows where they might pop up. But I've got to say, Andy, this is brilliant. This revisited is brilliant. And I think it would be so hugely popular if if you could do more of it on 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 the website. Because I think people they do really want to know a bit more about what the experience is like, hearing it firsthand from people like Ginny, but also hearing what what has happened. Yeah. But also, it is quite yeah, interesting yeah. to know. I wanted to know that, you know, do people, you know, sell six months down the line or after the show, do they actually pull out or, you know, it is interesting to know, isn't it? We had a couple last week. We did something similar with Jasmine last week and the uh, Mike and Sue Bloomfield were actually in their property in Luli on the Algarve near Albufeira. Oh. And um, we, showed that, we showed the clips they brought, bought three years ago and they were retiring from the police force and the fire service. And um, when they were asked on screen and on the footage we show, Mike said he was going to take up golf and that, that's what he was going to do. And he's worried about being able to relax and changing lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. Basically for three years, he's done nothing. He's just <laughs> now in his place Wake in Portugal up. and he's got very, very used to it. So um, oh. it, it was just, they couldn't be put off when they were quarantining place on flights. They bought a camper van and drove down there. They just would not be kept from their Portugal home. And they had a similar feeling to outside the property. And we recreated that. They went back outside the property to the same spot from the footage oh. and walked in. And um, I think the only change they'd made to the property was by the front door, Mike's fire helmet from 30 years in the fire service was now a, a flower pot with cacti in it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So yeah, the story afterwards is just intriguing, isn't it? What happens yeah. when the cameras stop rolling and how successful the purchase is and how the impact on, on someone's life, like, like yourself, Ginny. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah. many, and your many friends, Rainer and, Ray, uh, Rainer and uh, Don Donna. Donna. You know, yeah, no. what they, that was a renovation, their, their property. And I saw it because I went back and stayed in it after they'd renovated it. But 
really interesting for people to actually see how people change their properties or how they they don't yeah well next time you see mine because you i think it was when we first went into the house you said oh buy fold doors will be fabulous so that's coming next there right you go. well who knows <laughs> maybe we'll all do this again when you're out there Ginny, and we'll all take us out on the balcony and show us the view and um we'll try not to make too much noise with the neighbors around <laughs> But thank you, uh, thank you for your time today, Ginny. Ginny we do appreciate it. Thank you, Ginny. Lovely oh, to see you again. Send, you. My, say hello send to my Jasmine. love to your sister. Will do. I know. And thank you, Laura, for taking some time out of your busy schedule. Have a safe trip to uh, to Greece next week. We hope that yeah. goes well with the house hunters out there. How, how many weeks are you away for? Is it just the one or? Just one week. One week. One so week. I'm away for a week, then at home for a week, then off to Italy for a week, then home for a week. Then off to Cyprus for a week, oh, as it stands. Yeah. As it stands. Wow. Okay. Well, let's things start. change, and you just go with the flow. Go you with the flow. Smiling, and you keep helping make people's dreams come true, which is what it's all about. It let's is. hope that all of that eventually, and you get some great house hunters. Uh, house hunters as great as Ginny. So yeah. thanks again. Well, thanks to all the Place and the Sun team, and you, Laura. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bye. Thanks for tuning Thank in, everybody. You. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.